three-dimensional confocal structured illumination, or 3D CSI, is the imaging, biometry and laser guidance system that is at the heart of the Lensar laser system. It includes a pupil detection algorithm used to refine the scan range within the lens before imaging is commenced. A rotating camera takes multiple scans of the eye using proprietary software that images the eye from limbus to limbus and from anterior cornea to posterior lens in a single video frame without photo stitching. Since the 3D CSI system produces images of high contrast and high signal to noise ratio, the images can be analyzed automatically to detect the key surfaces central and peripheral anterior and posterior cornea, as well as the anterior and posterior lens surfaces. Ray tracing is then used to produce a three-dimensional reconstruction of the eye, which will form the basis of the treatment patterns. Alongside the 3D image, the biometric data is shown for cornea, anterior chamber and lens. Additional information is provided on the degree of lens tilt and the decentration of the pupil within the visible cornea. Lens tilt is important since it can affect the placement and dimension of the treatment patterns. In this first image, the optical axis of the lens passes through the center of the cornea. In the second case, the optical axis of the lens is displaced from the optical axis of the cornea, indicating a tilted lens. The pattern used for phaco fragmentation must take into account any lens tilt to avoid inadvertent damage. When tilt is present but not incorporated into the treatment, there is a danger that the treatment will encroach on the anterior and posterior capsule, as shown in the diagram. When planning the treatment after the image is complete, the surgeon has the option of placing the capsulotomy over the center of the pupil, over the anterior apex of the lens, or over the optical axis of the lens. The planning screen then shows the diameter of the short axis of the pupil, in green, the chosen capsulotomy diameter, in red, and the selected fragmentation pattern in blue and yellow. The surgical incisions previously programmed for individual surgeons are shown and any required limbal relaxing incisions can be added as required. The two circular icons can be moved to overlay marks previously made at the limbus in order to allow for any cyclic rotation of the eye once the patient is laying down. The CCI and paracentesis incisions can be moved to different locations and placed at any distance out to the limit of the measured cornea. Finally, the chosen treatment options are shown on the 3D model for final review prior to loading the pattern and starting treatment. Since most of the data are pre-loaded according to individual surgeon preferences, there is little input and change required between imaging and starting the procedure. The surgeon can review settings and start the treatment immediately.